in my kitchen and we will be starting to make tortillas de harina. I wanted to make corn, but the stores were all out, so tortillas de harina it is. This recipe is from of batterando.com and it is called soft homemade flour tortillas butter recipe. You will need four cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, loosely packed. Make sure you level off the flour before you put it in. Next, you'll need one and three quarter teaspoons of salt, one and one half teaspoons of baking powder, six tablespoons of unsalted butter softened, or as you might catch, uh, melting it since I accidentally melted it. You're going to add all the dry ingredients together and stir well to combine. Next in goes the butter and stir that well. And in fact, I'm going to get in there and mix it with my hands. I'm trying to saturate all of the dry ingredients with the butter so that it's very well distributed. And now we're ready to add one and one third cups of warm water. I'm going to stir that up, give it a rough stir with your spoon or if you have a standing mixer you can use that too but since I don't I'm just using my whisk and my hands. Get that all doughy. Feel free to add more water or more flour to adjust the dough if it's too sticky or dry. Now I'm sprinkling some flour on my cutting board. Surf it's going to be my surface to knead the dough more on the directions it said to knead or to put it in the standing mixer for five minutes. There it is. It looks ready to go. Just a little more. And we'll be ready to form our bolitas. And now we are going to roll our dough into about 20 bolitas ready to press. Put them here in the bowl. Isn't Dayari such a good helper? This is life skills and tradición. We're also working those fine motor skills that our little ones are developing and mastering right around this age, zero to five. Preschoolers learn most by doing. So this is a great activity to, like I said, hit those fine motor skills, learn your shapes, you're seeing, you're touching, you're tasting, and look, we're done. Después que pasen 30 minutos, vamos a aplanar las tortillas para que estén redondas. So in 30 minutes, we're going to press the tortillas so that they are round or whatever shape you want to make them. Um, in the book, round as a tortilla, we saw things that were triangles, rectangles, squares. So maybe we can try to make some square and triangle tortillas too. Or maybe rectangle. Or maybe rectangle ones. I have my Hecho en Mexico tortilla presser. I have the dough waiting. I have a comal heating up. Comal? What's a comal? Comal is this thing. Oh, it's a very well-loved comal that I have here. Pancake pan. Put your comal or griddle on high heat and make sure it's thoroughly heated before you start placing the tortillas to cook. Here I am pressing the masa in between two sheets of parchment paper inside the, the masa presser. I do this so that the masa doesn't get stuck on the presser itself and my mom just always did it that way. If you don't have one of these amazing tools at home, don't worry. You can use a regular 
um, rolling pin or if you don't even have a rolling pin you can use a glass like I'm about to do. Here I am putting some flour on my working surface so that the dough doesn't get stuck to the cutting board and there's my glass putting some flour on the glass too so the masa doesn't get stuck to the glass either and just rolling it out making it nice and thin and I'm gonna cut some shapes what shapes will you cut in your masa I'm cutting a triangle shape put your rolled out tortilla on a hot pan for about 20 seconds each side okay kids don't try this at home this is a experienced tortilla flipping hand a grown-up hand in action Solo las manos de experiencia adultas pueden hacer esto. Use a spatula instead. That way you don't toast your fingers too. Mmm, look at that. Looks just like the picture. There's my square one. The triangle one got eaten right away. And so now, here I am. I'm just going to press out the rest of my masa. Aplastando la masa. And they came out kind of a little thick. So I decided to use my glass to just thin them out a little bit more. I'm improvising here. That's what's great about working in the kitchen is that you learn new things. Sometimes you don't have all the ingredients or the store is out of maize and you still want to make tortillas so you make some Flour tortillas. I love these tortillas. They are the best because mommy made And there you have it, homemade flour tortillas. Tortillas de harina hecho en casa. Espero que les hayan gustado nuestra actividad de hoy y buen provecho. Enjoy.